Okay, guys, let's start out with something really, really easy. Guys and gals, what fishing line should you use? Clear water. Clear water. Y'all know the answer to this one. That shouldn't even be a trick question at all. Good morning, guys and girls. August 21, August 21. We're looking way back at Judges. Judges 21, 25. 21, 25. In those days, Israel did not have a king. All the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. Does it sound a little bit like America right now? Hey, by the way, if you're not subscribed to the Catch of the Day book, hit that subscribe button right now. If you are subscribed, share this with eight or ten friends. We've got about 17,000 people, 17,500, something like this, on this YouTube channel. We want to get this thing up there, 20, 25, 30,000 people, where we can really affect a lot of lives for Jesus. Not only affect a lot of lives for Jesus, but make families better, make relationships with wives and husbands better, make relationships better with friends and employers and employees, make you cl grow closer to God, grow closer to God. That's When you start your day with a daily devotional, a word of God, when you start with just a simple one scripture, and you're a little bit in depth on that, and a little country boy philosophy on it. I'm telling you, you'll grow closer to God. I've grown closer to God just doing these, just doing these. It's just meant so much to me. That's how I know it's the most important channel on YouTube. So get all your buddies to subscribe to the Catch of the Day channel. Share it with everybody in your church. Have your church put it in their church bulletin board. Let's get this channel on up there. We've uh, growing slowly, and we've got some of the best people in the world on here. Can I tell you how good these people are? It's amazing. They have helped me so much the last few months. Well, they've helped me for longer than that, but the last few months, it's just been amazing. Right, we're going to repeat this one more time for those of you that love repeating and those of you that don't. <laughs> in those days, Israel did not have a king. All the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. At any given time on any body of water, you can catch fish in a lot of different ways. Almost any lure or technique will work but obviously some work better than others. We all fish in what we believe is the right way with the right bait in the right location. I mean, we're all trying to do the right thing, but there's things that work better than others, things that work worse than others at any time. Amazingly, at a tournament, when you go in, you'll find that fish were caught on just about every type technique that you can use. From deep running lures to fishing on the bottom to fishing top water to fishing buzz baits, on and on and on. All kinds of different ways to catch them. Without leadership, people are on their own to determine right and wrong. Sounds pretty good though, really, doesn't it? Without leadership? How about when you were 15, 16 years old? When you just like to do whatever you wanted to do? Yeah. Without leadership, people are on their own to determine right and wrong. Without God, what seems to be right, what seems to be the right way becomes more perverse and more sinful. We've seen right here in America over this past year uh, amazing crime in these big cities. Uh, it's even happened in smaller cities, but amazing crime in the big cities because basically they can get away with it. We've seen situations where people walk into stores and load up sacks full of stuff with a security guard standing right there and walk right out. And they know if they get caught that they're going to let them out and nothing's going to happen. They may have to pay a small fine. Uh, it's just amazing. Some cities, even if you steal less than a thousand dollars, it's a misdemeanor. You have to pay a fine or you're, you're fine. You don't ever have to pay it usually. Here in America, many things that were unheard of when I was a kid, unheard of when I was a kid, are now accepted as normal behavior. Some are not only accepted, but are openly rewarded. In America right now, we make light of sexual sin. Lying, cheating, and greed are open parts of doing business. Open parts of doing business. Lying, cheating, and greed. Open parts of doing business. And many employees believe that they have the right to steal from their employers. When and it, many employees are caught stealing, they said, well, they didn't pay me enough money. I had a right to do this. I had a right to do this. And at the same time that all this is going on, at the same time that all this is happening, Christian values, Christian values are routinely 
mocked and made fun of. They make fun of us when we've been married to the same woman for 30, 40, 50 years, 57 years. Old fogies, old fashioned. They make fun of us when we see somebody drop a $20 bill and we pick it up and say, pardon me, you drop this. They make fun of us when we don't lie and cheat and steal to get ahead. They make fun of us when we go to church. They make fun of us when we openly praise God. They look over and see us at a restaurant bound over our food, thanking God and blessing God for that food. And at the same time, lying, cheating, greed, sexual sin, rampant in the United States. Stealing, I'm telling you, it's amazing to me to see the stealing, the physical brutality that goes on in this country. Here's my question that I wrote down. Who's leading your sense of right and wrong? Without leadership, without leadership, people are on their own to determine right and wrong. That's happening a lot in this country. But who's our leader? Who's leading us? My leader is God Almighty, the guy that created me. I put all my hope in Jesus. That's the guy I want to please right there. That's the moral values I want to live by. What's in the good book, his words, the Bible. Okay, what's our tip for today? Oh, you all do the answer to this. Super clear water, fluorocarbon line. Of course, fluorocarbon line or fluorocarbon coated fishing line. Fluorocarbon coated line works just as well, but 100% fluorocarbon. And you can get different grades of this too, you know, and uh, High Seas makes a fluorocarbon coated line that I use a lot. They make a, a inexpensive fluorocarbon line. It's only about 10 or 12 bucks a spool, $15 a spool. Very inexpensive. They make another 100% fluorocarbon that is pretty doggone expensive. So it kind of depends on what you want to do. And, you know, it kind of depends on whether you're, you know, you're fishing tournaments, whether it's local tournaments or club tournaments or whatever, or just depends on how serious you are out there and whether you're just out there having a good time or you're really trying to have you out there in a tournament trying to win some money. Also, another thing that dictates a little bit is how clear is that water? Fluorocarbon is for one thing and one thing only, really. There's some other values that you can have at certain times. But the main thing is clear water, clear water. If the water is really, really ultra clear, go ahead and move on up to that best grade of high sea fluorocarbon line. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. It is absolutely going to be perfect. You're going to make the day what it is. You're going to make it a good day, a mediocre day, or a bad day. And you're going to have some chances here in just a little bit to determine what kind of day that is because somebody's going to step on your toes. Somebody's going to say something you don't like. Somebody's going to mess up your orders. You go through and get your coffee and a donut or whatever. So you're going to have an opportunity to keep your joy or let somebody take it away from you. Remember, God loves you. God loves you.